Today I am modifying my gas can. This is one of those very annoying designs where it just gurgles because there's no air vent. But I found at Tractor Supply a kit. The kit includes a new nozzle that doesn't have the gurgling nonsense and a vent cap. Now I'm going to have to drill a half inch hole to be able to squeeze this vent cap into the back end of the bottle, but that's not a big deal. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so step one, let's go ahead and remove the old gurgling cap. Let's see, there is the ridiculous gurgling mechanism. Okay, we'll store those for later, later disposal. Now, since it's vented, I'm going to go ahead and pick a good spot to put my vent. Now, this particular can has this ridge running down it. I don't know how well that would work, but uh, best place to put the vent, I guess, would be right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try this. Now they said to use a paddle bit, but I don't have one. So I am using a Forstner bit. I hope this will cut. So far it doesn't look like it's doing too bad. Okay, we are almost through. Boy, that is some really thick plastic. That was kind of surprising. There we go. Now that we have that done, let's see if that little cap will fit in the back. So there's the hole that I just drilled. Here's the cap. Let's see what we got here. That is probably going to require a little bit of persuasion. Let's see if we can do this. Need to kind of hold it in place by the cap. Oh, look at that. One little bap and it's in there. Okay, so now that's actually pretty tight. I'm impressed. Now we have to figure out what thread size I have on my cap. Looks like this black one threads on really easy, so we are going to use it. Let's go back here and finish this job. <coughs> so, we have a little rubber gasket on this. Oh, a nice little screen to block anything like the plastic plug that just got knocked in there. So, let's go ahead and thread this on. Let's see if it tightens down. Oh, it feels like it tightens down. And we have a little cap on the top. So yeah, the kit is nice. It's only $10 from Tractor Supply. I don't know if it's going to keep some sort of a shape to it when I bend it. Eh, good enough. Then the cap just snaps on there. Let's go ahead and uh, show that off. There it is. And now we have a working gas can. This is awesome. It would appear I almost forgot something. This little yellow wire looks like it more than likely holds this cap onto the spout. So I am going to try to figure out just exactly how this thing is supposed to work. I mean, if you ask me, it almost looks like you've got two little nubs right here. And once you feed this in through this hole, this will popple into those two nubs, forming a ring. That ring is probably going to go down here somewhere and hold this thing on. And then this last little bit that's sticking out is going to fit right into the cap. So this is what I'm going to try. So let's go ahead and do this. Push that through there. Push this through there. And that's not too bad. Okay, now let's get the cap pushed into here as well. There we go. Now the cap doesn't get lost. Let's see how well this thing goes back on. Of course, we have to spin that yellow thing with it, but at least now the cap won't get lost, which is rather nice. But I think I'm going to pull that onto the second nub, make it a little tighter. Alrighty, now we are ready to fill the lawnmower. 